Peter, I need some money to fix my time machine. What's the easiest way to make a million dollars? Well, the answer is definitely not to find out whether P equals NP. P equals NP? What does that even mean? The P equals NP problem is a famous unsolved problem in theoretical computer science. The Clay Mathematics Institute has pledged a million dollars to anyone who can find a correct solution. What exactly is the problem? The problem is about proving whether the space of all problems that have a solution that can be quickly verified can also be solved quickly. P is short for polynomial time and refers to the space of all problems that can be solved in polynomial time. This means that their solution has an O of n to the k computational complexity, where k is some real number not dependent on some input dimension n. Some common examples include sorting a list of integers, determining whether a number is prime, or multiplying two matrices. This set P is a subset of another set, NP. NP refers to non-deterministic polynomial time and is the set of problems where the solution to the problem can be verified in polynomial time, but the problem itself is not known to be solvable in polynomial time. An example of this is finding all the prime factors of a number. Verifying the correct answer is easy, since all we have to do is multiply all the primes and check if they give us the original number. But there is no known polynomial time algorithm to prime factorize a number on a classical computer. What is the progress on the solution to this problem? Most computer scientists believe that P does not equal NP, but a rigorous proof of the statement has never been published. Proving that P does equal NP would cause a massive shift in theoretical computer science and related fields. Computers could solve problems that are currently considered practically unsolvable. To prove that P equals NP, we would need to find a problem that is NP complete that can be solved in polynomial time. NP complete? What does that mean? NP complete problems are the hardest problems in NP. A solution to an NP-complete problem can be reduced to any other problem in NP. A good example of this is the Boolean satisfiability problem, which asks if there is a set of inputs to a Boolean circuit that eventually outputs a 1. This problem is as hard as the hardest problems in NP, so any algorithm used to solve it could be used to solve all problems in NP. So if we could find a polynomial time algorithm to solve even one NP-complete problem, then that algorithm could be used to solve all problems in NP in polynomial time, proving that P equals NP. Rupert, I know what we're doing today. Follow algorithms, Peter, for more.